This video is going to be all over the place, but stay tuned for the end of this video and I'll reveal my three piece Johnny's under here. Oh! What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. I got a sick part to install. It was in this box, I already opened it up, but you can probably guess it's a sick radiator. So I went ahead and set it in here and there's no way we're getting fans on here. So the plan is, I mean, I probably could get some super slim ones, but they're not going to pull that much air. And I want this thing to stay cool because this is obviously a motor that's probably going to get hot pretty quick, judging by the size. And it's got a turbo. So the cool thing about this radiator, it's a dual pass. So I don't, I think it goes something like, choo -choo. who knows? I don't know exactly how radiators work, but I think it's something like that. Anyway, the plan is to open up a lot more room is I'm going to chop right into this thingy, whatever it's called. And we're gonna lean the radiator pretty far in here. I think I'm gonna cut probably to about here. So that's pretty deep in here and we can get a pretty gnarly lean on there. And then we'll throw some fat fans on there. I'm thinking about some Ford Taurus ones or just some really, really high CFM or whatever they're called um, fans. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I got some turbo lines on, um, the oil feed for the turbo on. I'm currently trying to figure out the drain. Here in a video or two, we're gonna be making our own AN line, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, I got the fuel lines kind of figured out. I got the fuel pressure regulator. I got power steering line on. Just trying to get all these lines taken care of. Once all that's taken care of, then we'll start doing the wiring and be good to go there. Tape measure for sure. All right, so this radiator is about two and a quarter in inches, so I'm gonna bring it in about two inches. Actually, I'll bring it in two and a quarter, so we should be able to get the full width of the radiator in here, and then that gives me the entire width of the radiator to get fat fans on there. Oh, I did get the belt on, by the way, too. Okay, so that is my line. I don't know if it's accurate or not. I don't know if it's straight or not, because I really don't have anything that long. I mean, it looks pretty straight. To be honest, I'm just gonna cut it and whatever happens, happens. I am gonna have to relocate this hood things, which is gonna be a big issue. I don't know how I'm gonna make that work. But anyway, let's go ahead and chop this. That thing sucks for that. It's trash. I needed something better. But the line looks like it's gonna be pretty solid. All right, so you might be able to tell it's a completely different day. I just gave up on the Dremel and we're gonna go to Home Depot this morning, pick up a nice little electric cutter. Hopefully that works better than the little Dremel because the Dremel sucked and I didn't want to use it. So that's why I just said screw it and left. Anyway, let's, <laughs> anyway, let's go get a cutter. Nice little cold start. Nice. I just got back from Home Depot and check this out. This is pretty sick. It is a M12 little tiny hand cutter or whatever. One-handed little beast. I'm gonna pop this thing out. We'll do a little unboxing here. This should be way better than that Dremel. Hey, there she blows. Look at this thing. Heck yeah, this is so nice. This is gonna be great. Blade is in. Let's go try this thing out. Oh my gosh, this thing's sick. Masking up, Corona 2020. This is by far one of the best tools I have ever bought. This thing rips. Handheld, don't have to plug it in. Absolutely incredible. Fire cut, I did this whole thing in probably five minutes. With the Dremel, it took me 20 minutes to make it this far, so this thing Oh yeah, what a deal. Now that that's out of the way, first off, look at this piece, incredible. Here we go, moment of truth. So as you can tell, there's a lot of room. Oh baby, look at that. So much more room for fans, good lean, looks good, room on both sides. Heck yeah. I'm gonna secure this to this somehow. Shouldn't be too hard. The one more thing I'm gonna put on this metal before like the radiator is fully mounted is this edge sealer. And I actually ordered some on Amazon, it's like 10 bucks. I used this for the intercooler piping. I previously used it right here. But it basically just slides right on, like so. And then it kind of just hides all those sharp edges and makes it look a little bit cleaner. So yeah, I gotta wait for that to come in the mail. I think it comes tomorrow, so we'll get that on there. But that'll be nice and purdy. 
While I got this cutter out, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up in here really quick because obviously it looks very, very bad. So yeah, we're gonna knock this out really quick, clean it up real nice, and then I'll get some metal and we'll do a plate in here as well. Oh, baby! Turned out pretty good, actually. Um, it doesn't smell so good. Something was burning down there. I'll have to make sure nothing caught fire. But this is my new favorite tool, 100%. This thing is incredible. Incredible. Anyway, now I need to figure out how I want to cover this up. So I got these carbon plates, and I've actually been planning on using them for just like random stuff on the interior. Um, they're not too expensive, and they look pretty good. So I was thinking about doing some sort of cutout that would somehow go on here as like a plate or something. But I want there to be a boot on here is the problem. So like I'm just really trying to be particular about this build because I want everything done right the first time. Because then it just makes it easier to work on and it's just like so much smarter to do it that way. I'm changing my ways guys. I'm changing my ways. I'm going to get some cardboard out and I'm going to make a cardboard template of exactly what I want. And then I'll go buy some metal and make it. Look how sick this looks with the cage. Dang. Dang. Okay, first piece. Oh, look at that. Looks pretty good. How to figure out where the hole needs to be. Just hammer it down on there. And now I know where the hole needs to go. Beautiful. Yeah, that will work. This is gonna be kind of weird because it's a completely different day again, but I got some spark plugs that came in the mail. So we're gonna throw in these Iridium IXs. We need to take out all these old ones. And then we're also gonna go ahead and throw on the coil packs today, which I'm super stoked about because they're LQ9 and they're pretty sick looking. And um, it's a little dirty in the valley. I don't think there's any way for me to really clean it. So, I mean, I might get a vacuum down in there, vacuum up what I can, but for now, Let's pop these plugs out and see how they look. Nice and dirty. You can tell she's been running rich. Smells, smells like the speed when it runs rich. These are some super old plugs, you can just tell. I'm gonna pull the rest out. If anything looks crazy, I'll show you guys, but if not, I'm gonna throw all these other ones in. I don't know what I'm gonna gap them at. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of research. I'll let you guys know if I figure that out. But otherwise, I'm gonna rip all these out. Look at these beauts. This is probably the part I've been most excited about installing. I don't know why. Probably just because it's the simplest part to install. So anyway, got these sick LQ9 coil packs for those of you that do not know. And they got some sick carbon fiber covers because you guys know the deal. I love carbon. These things should literally just pop right on. Now apparently you're supposed to tap one or two holes for these to be on. I'm only going to use one bolt and I'm not going to tap a hole because I don't like tapping into heads. And I never have and I probably never will. So anyway. Let's uh, shove this thing on. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, everything's in there. So I'm only running one on this one, one on this one, two in the middle. And look how tight this still is. Like, it's not going anywhere. So that's sick. Those are all in. They look absolutely insane. Hopefully they perform as good as they look. If anyone wants to buy them. Thorn Industries, if I remember, I'll put the stuff in the description. I'm gonna work on starting to put stuff in the description, so if you guys wanna buy this stuff, it should be in the description. I don't know, we'll see if I remember, but if not, remind me. I'm not really sure what I wanna do next, so I might just end this video here, and then maybe we'll start on wiring or something next video, because I just got a mess to clean up. I gotta clean all this up. It's starting to get out of hand, and when stuff gets out of hand, projects gets messy, take longer, and yeah. Kind of felt like this video was all over the place, so I wanted to end it with a banger. So these are my new three-piece wheels for this car. Here we go, here we go. Boom! Oh, they look so freaking fire. You guys gotta let me know right now what you think of these. So these are Weds uh, Ratzingers. I, I don't know the exact pronunciation of it, but it's like Razinger, Ratzinger, I'm not sure. Um, and they are freaking wide and they got a lot of dish. These are the fronts and they have this much dish. The rears, I think the rears are 
four and a half inches or something. I don't know. This is my first ever three-piece set of wheels. I've never had a three-piece set of wheels before. And I got these on VR wheels, actually, and they're just, oh, they just look so dang good. Even Jack saw them, and he tried to buy them from me as soon as he saw them, but I got to keep these for this car. They're going to look gnarly. Imagine. Imagine that. Oh, and we're gonna go lower for sure. So these wheels will be going on this car very soon, so expect that here in a future video. Let me know what you guys think of them. I think they're just absolutely insane. There's not many people that put these rat zingers on S13s that I've seen. Um, it's not that common of a wheel style to go on an S13. Everyone does uh, VSKFs and stuff like that, but not really these, so these are gonna look nuts. Definitely gonna be a little different, so let me know what you guys think of them. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys like the wheels. Peace out. Follow me on Instagram, I'll speak burner.